A tradition which is the spirit, being of the spirit. Now we read that earlier in regarding uh, the difference between Melchizedek and Levi. The, the, the differences between Melchizedek and Levi and also that Levi sprang from Abraham. But it was Abraham that gave the tithe to Melchizedek. He gave a portion to Melchizedek till Christ would come to fulfill that. All right, the fullness would come to seal these two things together. These two entities would become one. Okay, now we can see the reality of that in the Holy City, New Jerusalem, chapter twenty. Uh, chapter 21 of Revelation. You can see the, the sealing of this, these two entities. Okay, For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the light thereof. The, uh, the sealing of these two things, the spirit, the spirit and the flesh, the fire and the water, are now sealed in one and sanctified for an eternal expression. And this is why the Lord, viewing the tree of life, which is in the midst, which is in the midst of the holy city, is a reflection of that. The leaves of the tree were the healing of the nations. Those leaves identify us. Okay, remember, what did Adam cover himself with? Okay, Adam covered himself with leaves to conceal his nakedness. But now we are no longer naked. We have been clothed with Christ. We've been clothed with light. And the leaves of the tree identify that our, uh, our nakedness has been concealed. Okay, because we have the righteousness uh, of God through Jesus Christ. Okay, well, let's close here. Just get your sacrifices. Okay, so you're a priest forever after all Melchizedek. Okay, verse 22. By so much was Jesus made a surety. Okay, that means by these traditions of Melchizedek, Jesus now calls us forth. So by, uh, by so much was Jesus made a surety in a seal of a better testament, okay, which is superior, better, which means superior, okay, not accompanied with the presence of death, which sacrifices proceed from the lips to the throne. Our sacrifices proceed from the heart to the lips to the throne. That if we believe in our heart and confess with our lips, we should be saved. This is what Paul was telling the Romans. Okay, concerning their, uh, concerning their priesthood, the priesthood of the second covenant. Okay, that if you shall believe in your heart the Lord Jesus. Okay, the testimony, receiving this testimony. Believe in the heart Lord Jesus and confess with the lips, you shall be saved. Okay, that means that, uh, as long as you keep the links of your tether strong, through your priesthood. Now you're washed. This is what he said in Corinthians now. Now you're washed. Now you're sanctified. Now you're justified. You have entered a new priesthood through a different washing. Okay, a washing of salt and fire. The salt and the knowledge of his word. That's why Jesus told his apostles, have salt within yourself. Okay, you are the salt of the earth. This knowledge is your saltiness. This knowledge will preserve you. Okay, against the corruption of the world. So he says, you are the salt of the earth and have fire. Because we're also purged by fire. Okay, our sacrifices are accompanied. 
and that's what the Lord says. Every sacrifice should be, uh, should be salted with salt, as the law says. And that is perpetually carried forth through the sacrifices of your lips. Okay, it's the sacrifices of your lips with this holy knowledge that your soul is being saved. You're being salvaged. You're being made anew. Okay, now you are called the sons of God. And this is what uh, John said. Beloved, now are you the sons of God. Okay, it does not yet appear what you shall be as concerning entering into the light. But we know that when he shall appear as concerning the eternal reward, okay, we shall be like him. Okay, that means uh, our likeness will reflect him perfectly. Okay, and he will embrace us for this fellowship because we're exchanging the same substance of the lips okay, of this knowledge. And by this form of exchange, uh, exchange the heart is being healed. Okay, so by whose stripes you are healed? You are being healed. Okay, so if we suffer with him, we shall reign with him. If we suffer with him, we suffer the, if we suffer the power of the imagination and the aspiration by the covenant of Jesus Christ, then we shall rule over sin and reign with him in the throne. Okay, verse 22, By so much was Jesus made a surety, a seal of the better testament which is superior, that testifies of himself and not man. Okay, and truly, verse 23, And they truly, as Moses, of Moses had, uh, even though they had a function, and they truly were many priests, because they were not suffered, or allowed to continue by reason of death. Death is, par uh, death is powerful in carnal things. Death finds its power in carnal things, and it dominates the flesh. Uh, death dominates the flesh, need, and time. Okay, if death dominates these things, you don't want to utilize these things for your faith, tithing, because uh, the where um, this is what Jesus said: uh, set your affections and things in heaven, your, uh, where your heart is, there where your treasures be also. Okay, so that if your if your heart is set with the things of heaven, of the spiritual things then rust cannot corrupt it. The thief can't break through and steal from it, and neither can a moth consume it. And our sacrifices okay, are beyond rust, the thief, and the moth. All those which are listening today, if you like to come and covenant with God, okay, if you, uh, you have to begin to seek God. You're going to have to also put aside the barriers of your former traditions and your mindset. And you're going to have to seek Him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Okay, if you want to come and come with God. Okay, well, thank you for listening today and continue, uh, continue to seek the Lord. His grace will abound towards those that seek Him with a, out of a pure heart. And this is Apostle Eric von Ersek here speaking. Have a good day and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.